What's up, travelers? I am sitting at Tita de Giulietta. Looks to be a pretty, pretty good restaurant. All their pasta's made in house. I just ordered a uh, cacio e pepe. It's like my favorite meal in Italy that I've had so far. <laughs> but uh, they didn't really have a huge menu here. They they had a couple things on there that I absolutely will not eat, like. They had some donkey dishes, and they had some horse dishes, and yeah, that's that's just not me. Let's take a look around this place, and then we will have some food, and then after that, we will have a little bit of a dessert. Then we're just going to head on back to the hostel, and be on our way in the morning. Man, I really hope this weather lets up here pretty soon, because... I would much rather go explore these places <laughs> without getting drenched. Uh, Alright, so let's check this place out. So it looks like they hooked us up with some bread and some Parmesan. Well, that's it's probably Pecorino Romano, to be honest. This place looks to be pretty cool. They put me back here, away from everybody else, so I'm okay with that. It makes it easier to talk to the camera. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a piece of this bread. There's some of this cheese on it. And then some of this olive oil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's always that's good. <laughs> that's the first thing I've eaten at all today. Today has been an adventure. So they just delivered some Ruibos papaya cinnamon tea. Actually, I think it's also got some chamomile in it. So as I was saying, today's been an adventure. So first I woke up in Milan and it was snowing. Then I went to the train station and escaped the snow on the train. And then I got to Verona and it was just pissing rain like crazy. I then found out they didn't have a subway system here like they, they did in the other cities that I've been in. And I had to explore their bus system. I got on their bus just as Google Maps told me I should get on my bus and it was the bus was supposed to take me straight to my hostel and it took me completely to the other side of town and then the bus said okay I'm out of service so then I had to get off of the bus walk about a quarter mile maybe a half mile to a new bus station and get on another bus and then I had to sit on that bus for 26 different stops before it got to where I was going. <laughs> was, I was just getting so pissed off and angry. After I got checked in the hostel, I went over to the Juliet's house. That was kind of cool. Just a little pit stop. I could have went in, but I didn't feel like paying. And then I went on a mission to go find the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> so I looked at the, the Hard Rock website and this 
Verona location had just popped up and it said it was open, so that's why I came to Verona. I'm glad I did, though, because this, this city's pretty cool. I found a lot of pretty interesting stuff here that, that I'm interested in checking out at a later date. I'm going to have to anyway if I want to get my pint glass. But uh, <laughs> So I get here and I go looking for the hard rock and I find the office. That's where Google Maps took me to, was to their office. Luckily, their office was open. The restaurant, however, is not open. It's not going to open for a couple more weeks, but they say right before Christmas it's going to open up, and uh, that does me no good. <laughs> then I came here to uh, Tita de Julieta, which is just a couple, you know, probably about maybe 500 steps away from, from Juliet's house. Hopefully this food will get here pretty soon and I haven't eaten anything all day. I am so excited. <sighs> Might as well try this tea while we wait. Yeah, the aroma of that cinnamon is nice. And, mm, I think this is going to end up making me a bit drowsy, which is good because last night I had a hell of a time trying to sleep. <laughs> Can't wait to have that, that uh, cacio pepe. It's just going to be good. Which, 12 euros if you're wondering. That's how much the cacio pepe is going to cost. Mm. Well, that, that's some good tea. Alright, there it is. That's catchy a Pepe check. Look at that. Oh, it is a thing of beauty. Oh, I am so excited for this. First thing I've eaten all day is one of my favorite foods. Definitely my favorite food in Italy. If not everything. Uh -huh. Well, it's not Roma Spirita, not even close, but <laughs> definitely worth eating. I think we need to add some more cheese and some pepper to it. Lots of cheese on there. Man. Okay, so these homemade noodles are absolutely fantastic. And it's, it's about half of my pinky is how thick that is. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Happy day right there. Happy, happy day. The best thing about this dish is just how simple it is. It's it's cheese, it's black pepper, and it's noodles. That's all it is. You just can't go wrong. This summer when I went to Roma Spirita in Rome, which was Anthony Bourdain's favorite restaurant of all time, I went home back to the United States and I taught myself how to make cacio e pepe. Now it's like my favorite thing to make as well. Um, it's so good. It's just the best thing ever. Mm. Definitely a dish for heaven. When the dessert comes out, we will get in on that as well. Cheers to you. All right, we got this walnut cheesecake with chocolate and caramel. And it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna taste exactly the way it looks. 
So let's find out. Ooh, that's nice and firm. Mm. Oh. That is so creamy and smooth and chocolatey and crunchy and melts in your mouth and just... Mm. It's like the inside of a really high-end chocolate truffle. This was worth coming here to Verona in itself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. That is just wow. <laughs> Alright, well, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so I can send you out a notification whenever I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, Eat great food.